A very warm welcome to Tech Mining. A public report can be saved, renamed, or deleted by end users who created it. Alternative report created in previous videos focuses on orders, while this one is created from the perspective of customers. Execute the following steps to create first view named report view of a public report. From the reports drop down list in the toolbar select the default primary report option. From the actions menu, under report, select save report. From the save drop down list select as named report. Users can create multiple variations of a report and save them as named reports for either public or private viewing. For report name. Enter customer review. Put a check on public. Click the apply button. When you click the apply button, the report is automatically displayed on your screen. A new report, public will be added to the reports list in the toolbar, carrying a new report named customer review. With the customer review report being displayed on your screen, click actions. Format. Control break. In the first row under column select customer. Set status to enabled. Click apply. See the control break on customer name column. Click actions. Chart. Set parameters for the chart as performed. Click the apply button to see the output. The chart uses the average function, as compared to the sum function used in the previous video. William Hartsfield has placed two orders amounting to $2,370. Divide this value by two. The average for this customer comes to $1,185, and this is what you see when you move your mouse over the bar representing this customer. Click the view report icon to switch back. Click actions. Group by. Set parameters for this view as show in the video steps. Turn on the sum switch to display grand totals. Click apply. From the report list in the toolbar, make sure customer review is selected. And also the view group by icon. In this view, you applied sum and count functions to two columns, order total and order items. This view displays total amount of orders placed by each customer, with number of orders, and the total number of items ordered. Using the actions menu save your work. 
from the save list select as named report. The name box should be displaying customer review. Click apply. The pivot option in the actions menu is used to create a crosstab view based on the data in the report. Let's see an instance of this option as well. Click the view report icon to switch back. Click actions. Pivot. Set following parameters. Don't forget to turn on the sum switch to produce grand totals on the page. Click apply. Using the actions menu save your work. In the previous few videos, we've used some options from the Actions menu to customize the interactive report. However the menu contains a few more. Filter, focuses the report by adding or modifying the WHERE clause on the query. Data contains submenu. Sort, changes the columns to sort on and determines whether to sort in ascending or descending order. Compute, enables users to add computed columns to a report. Rows per page, determines how many rows display in the current report. Reset, is used to reorganize the report back to the default report settings. Download, enables users to download a report. Available download formats depend upon your installation and report definition. Help, provides descriptions of how to customize interactive reports. In the next part we'll modify the properties of page 29, order details page. Thanks for watching.